Alright, today we're going to fly with Ian, who has flown uh, three weeks ago. Almost, almost a month. Yeah. Almost a month. Ian is my student of a lifetime. He's <laughs> It's going to take a lifetime to finish, I think. going to be your 100-hour student. Yeah. yeah, working on that. Ian is going to talk me through the maneuvers as if he's teaching the maneuvers that we do. And then I asked him earlier if he had any tips that he would have given himself when he started training that he knows now. So we'll, uh, we'll see what he comes up with. So, we got a few. We got um, a few. Tips for students starting out now that he's into this. I don't even know how many hours you have now. But number one. It is. Fly more often. You can fly once a month on your flight training. Oh, you got to fly twice a week if you can. So I'm going to give you a little tidbit I picked up the other day. And you're cleared for the option. That means you can do pretty much anything you want, right? Touch and go, low approach, and stop and go. Okay. However, at this airport the other day, somebody did a stop and go after they were cleared for the option, and the tower got mad at it. Really? And the tower explained it this way. He said, I understand that technically the stop and go is part of the option clearance I gave you. However, at this airport... That's not part please, of it. Well, he said, please inform us ahead of time if you're going to do that. And by stop and go, they stopped? Literally stop on the runway and then take off again. Oh, well that does... Which is more than possible. This is a 7,000 foot <laughs> runway here, so... On echo taxi alpha to the ramp. Um, he said, as, in a, as a general rule, they do not want you doing stop and goes here. Okay. This is a Delta airport. It's towered. Um, reasonably busy at times. Uh, but I tell you this, so when you start doing your solo flights, if you're doing any practice here, which again, they just told you can't practice here right. today. Right, not today, right. Uh, if they clear you for the option, don't do a stop and go unless you clear it with them. All right. Now, having known that, if you were going to do the option at a towered airport, it might be polite just to say, hey, I'm planning a stop and go before you do it. I see. Just to give them a heads up. Because if, you know, that takes longer to do than a touch and go. And if they're sequencing people behind you, right. that could possibly screw hey, up. Station 523 2 uniform, runway 2 now, hold short. I've been flying for a lot of years, a lot of hours. This is the first time I've heard that. It's a little chilly today, but there's no humidity, so Peter, he shouldn't be necessary. All right, and unless we go through a cloud, which we're not going to, because that wouldn't be appropriate, that would be your real pedo heat plate. Yep. All right. I don't know that. I've just seen, like, videos and stuff. Ah, yeah, well, that's another thing. I want to watch a lot of YouTube videos. That's, that is, is helpful. That's, because it's, what's, what's your favorite YouTube channel? Uh, the Finer Points. Let's try again. What's your favorite YouTube <laughs> channel? That guy on Diamond Star Pilot seems to know what he's doing. He does. He, just, uh, he talks a lot. He's awfully mean. I, I find him quite jovial. <laughs> Pick the RPMs up. 2,000. All right. Let's check the mags. All right, that's a big drop. Uh, why is that? Hold out. Oh. Oh, pretty close to each other. In this plane, what should you do if you have too big a drop? A bit of 2,000. Pull that mixture back. Oh, oh, okay. Pull that mixture back. Okay. Pull, keep her at 2,000. Pull your mixture back. Because that was down, that was 170 drop, right? That's a lot, That's yeah. too much. That's I think right. 175 is the max. All right. So we're too rich. We're too rich. All right, should we try it again? I'm trying again. Okay, we're at 2020. That's much better. That's 110. Let's try the other. There you go. All right, 90. Okay. If you try to do a mag check in this particular plane at too rich, your drop's going to be too big. Okay. Diamond 526 Delta Sierra Tower, runway 2, right turn out approved, clear for takeoff. Right turn out approved, clear for takeoff, runway 2, 526 Delta Sierra. Spectrum 1, continue to hold short, runway All 2 right. at Echo. I'll clear on approach. There shortly. I will use my sick okay. the readers. Made a uh, rotation of glasses. You I know, man. Right I there. know. I I need to get some deep polarized glasses. That's another thing. Get some good glasses. And you're it's, right. Non-polarized. Non-polarized. Because you will not be able to. See, if you have a glass panel, you're not going to see it with polarized. Unless you it's, keep your head sideways. It's bright as hell up here. All right, we're center line. Those on the floor. Right rudder, right rudder. Got it. 
Crispy's alive. It's level. It's level. Okay. Alright, we're gonna climb mid 70s. Right, we're gonna run, we're gonna fly runway heading until we clear the runway. We're gonna turn up to the right. As a novice to me, just watching you, it looked like you needed a Second fair one, amount of right rudder to keep her going down the runway. Yeah, yeah, that's uh that's something I'm still getting like, the hang up. As she tends to pull left, then she does. Concord Tower, seven seven eight alpha alpha. That's a little right rudder now. Yeah, there you go. She's climbing with full power. Inbound with information uniform. As a new pilot, you want to learn to use the trim too. You know, if the plane is in you to keep altitude, adjust your trim. Okay, and that helps. What's that do? It just makes it. Uh, it makes your less. It takes workload off. Oh, so it takes like the pressure off your stick. It does. Well, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, there you go. I learned something. I found that watching a lot of YouTube videos, a bunch of different instructors giving you different advice, and it's. Uh, but there's a lot of consistency too, so you can see uh, the the common threads. Uh, the material's kind of the same, but the presentation. Yeah, the presentation, you know, everybody's everybody's got a different opinion about stuff, but, uh, you know, once you've flown a few times, you can say, okay, this works for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this method, and, uh, you know, opinions are strong in this community. Charlie, Roger, make a right turn out of parking there. I agree with that, because sometimes somebody can say something in, in a certain way that will click with you that maybe you have up absolutely before. Yeah. Now, to, to be current as a pilot, you have to do what? Just as a private pilot, PFR. Tower 778, be current? Yeah. Left down to fly? If there's something specific in a certain time frame, you have to do... Uh, what fly? Was it fly every so... Well, gosh, I can't remember the time frame. I, three landings. Oh, okay. Every 90 days. 90 days. Okay. All right. yeah. Otherwise, you can't carry passengers. You can fly, but you can't carry passengers. Right. And the reason I was thinking about that is, uh, for me personally, the first skill that goes if you haven't flown in a while is landing. Is landing. Yeah. Not necessarily the pattern. Well, I've seen that firsthand. Landing, landing escapes you pretty quick. Cool. The, the flare and the touchdown get a little sloppy if you haven't done it in a while. Yep, that's true. Um, I'd say 90 days is not enough. I mean, you, I mean, really, to be good at it, you got to go twice a month. Well, keep in you know? mind, that's the minimum. Yeah. Right? And now I have the added attraction of, I try to fly from both seats. Because yeah. I get very used to landing over here, and I'm better at landing on the right seat right. than the left seat. Yeah. Just, uh, was that basketball player who's, I think, you, you wanted to say ambidextrous, but yeah, he said I'm, he, I'm amphibious. I'm amphibious, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so I have to be amphibious, but uh, my left is my weakest landing. So. Right, Number yeah. one nine six zero three Concord Tower. Uh, say types of approaches request. Oh, so you have to change tanks? No. Uh, oh, huh. why is that? You Number want to keep an even amount of fuel three, in the tanks as much as possible. Oh. And is there a maximum disparity? Um, is there a certain disparity that Diamond says you have to stay with it between the two? Uh, it's 15 gallons, is it not? Well, it's not 15 gallons. Conveniently, no, no, it is no. written uh, right here. Oh, eight. Eight gallons. Oh, so packs. we change every 15 minutes, but it's 15. Uh, we yeah. change every 30 well, the, to 40 minutes. Well, the, the, doesn't the alert go off every 15 minutes? Oh, uh, it's longer. Oh, okay. Right, and that's something we set. That's not, that doesn't come from the factory that way. That's a timer that we put on, the, that we set on the plane. I think it's every 30 minutes or so. Okay. To remind you to switch tanks to try to keep them evened out. Right, so it says wind calm on the ground up here. It says 18 knot headwind. It does. Uh, we chose the wrong runway. Parkhole, Scott, oh. 9906 Lima. Echo we are eight miles to the southeast uh, for a right 45. Uh, next uh, go around if you want to go the other way, that's fine. All right, so if we wanted to use the other runway, which I think I do, I don't want to come in too fast. But I just kind of. To uh, one, a 180 across the oh, pattern. Oh, so you don't want to land at all this time? I don't want to land uh, with an 18 knot tailwind. All right, so just make a call and uh, just say you're crossing the uh, approach end of 3 4, going to switch to 1 6. Okay. All right, let's maintain. All right, so that's a piloting decision. They said winds at the ground were one thing, winds at 1,000 feet or something else. Yeah, we got a 20. Yeah, I don't want to be, I don't, even if it's calm on the ground, I don't want a, a huge tailwind when I'm trying to approach. That's a, a tip, I guess, that I learned and you're learning too. You're the guy in charge, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to, yeah. If the guy's not here, you have to make decisions that are 
comfortable for you. Right. We get our manifold pressure back to normal. And just because you started something, if you don't like the way it's working out, I need all the help I can get. Yeah. Didn't you say you at times listen to just ATC? Oh, oh gosh, yeah. 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 And there is a fantastic app available uh, that allows you to listen to air traffic control from any any airport. So I listen to my local airport from time to time to get you better. Yeah, because there are people that learn to fly at non-tower airports, and I've heard they're kind of scared to go to a towered airport. No, and no, it's it's uh it's intimidating. Um, you know, because you know you can fly like a ace, but if you don't know how to talk on the radio, they're gonna they're gonna with you. I, and a towered airport by its nature is probably gonna have more traffic, so yeah. there's more going on. It was really helpful to listen to that app for a while. I mean, fly, uh, listening to the Delta that we fly out of is, um, you know, you get their vernacular and where they tell you to report and all that kind of stuff. It yeah. is, I mean, if I were to fly somewhere I wasn't familiar with, I'd listen to that for, for, for a few hours just to get used to it. There's definitely a lingo, and you can tell a new pilot versus an experienced pilot, but just wait, listening to them on the radio. Absolutely. Don't let that nose go left. You had it perfect. Bring that nose back to the right just a little bit. All right, now let her keep coming down. Nose to the right, nose to the right, nose to the right. All right, now, there you go. Now, okay. How to get that nose to the right? I uh, know. All right, now get the plane pointed down, straight down uh, yeah. the runway first. Gotcha. All right. We start going. All right. Right, rudder, right, rudder. Or right, rudder. Oh, they're up. You let that wing dip. We're going to touch yeah. down again. Uh, remedial training with Ian. You're definitely high. Pull, pull that power out. Just flaps in. Concord Tower, Skyhawk 61805. All right, there you go. Now you're on climb. Number 61805, Concord. Coming around. So One five miles to the south. Southbound south. All right, just keep running right side. Skyhawk 61805. Enter a right base for runway two and report a three mile right base. Report a three mile right base for runway two, Skyhawk 61805. And we have Victor. Roger, thank you.